Hey guys, welcome to my hotel room in Michigan. I came to Michigan for a wedding and I was able to meet up with my friend Molly, Makeup Molly. We did a get ready with me together. That should already be up on my channel. So I will have that linked down below. But I thought that while I was here, I would show you what I packed in my new Singe Beauty bags. I also have this smaller bag here. So I'm gonna show you what I packed. I'm gonna let you know about the makeup that I packed. But if you wanna see it in action, I did go to Molly's house and we filmed together. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first of all, I'll show you like a flat lay of everything. I did, of course, bring my new Singe Beauty bags. And the thing that I love about these bags is there's a larger one and a smaller one for brushes, but the way that you can fit everything in here. So the bag, the larger bag opens up and lays flat. So you're able to see all of your products. You're not like digging like I have to do with some other bags. And there are also these little compartments where I tuck different things. I have my powders tucked, my lip products, my liners tucked. It just it just makes it easy to find everything. Like I'm able to find everything quickly. All of the makeup that I wanted to bring fit. Most makeup bags that I have can't fit my eyeshadow palettes. I'm always having to pack them separate and this even fit my eyeshadow palette. So I was amazed at just the amount of space that I had. I love the way that these bags zip up and they have a handle so they're easy to carry. It was funny when I had these makeup bags out and I was getting ready to pack and throw all of my makeup in them. My husband was like, where did you get those bougie bags from? So these bougie bags are from Cinch Beauty. You can get them now, but I'm going to go ahead and just show you all of the goodies that are in here. But like I said, if you want to see them in action, check out that video uh, with Molly. So for primers, I just brought my handy dandy. I brought my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice and my Dewdrops because they're very hydrating. And actually, I think I'm going to put some on right now. So this is a serum. It's a niacinamide serum. And so it's for brightening and glow. I do not have makeup on right now because y'all, I have to check out of my hotel in like 20 minutes. <laughs> so my little sister lives in Michigan and she's kind of been trucking me around. I did stay at a hotel because the wedding that I came up here for was an hour from where my sister lives. So that like wasn't really a doable situation. Um, but my skin, whew, I need some hydration, but I'm going to check out of the hotel. She's going to come get me. I'm going to hang out with her, but I fly out today. So not wearing makeup, have that. That's super hydrating and comfortable, but I also have my Tatcha liquid silk canvas. This is great for like smoothing texture, covering up the pores. I had to bring, oh my gosh, where is it? It wasn't in its little compartment. I had to bring my Sigma color correcting duo, y'all. I'm obsessed with this. This is my second one. My second one, I'm in the shade light to medium. The thing that I love about this is you can put it underneath your under eyes. Like I probably need it right now, but you know, airplane, so I don't want to wear makeup. This does a nice job of like brightening, but also giving hydration. It's not like shimmery, shiny, glossy, but the serum texture and the consistency, it just like blends into my skin, but it's not like a flat matte. It's not dull. So I knew that I needed that. For foundation, I brought my Fenty Stick Foundation. I'm in the shade three. The reason why I brought this, I talk about it a little bit in that video with Molly. I don't like to bring something that has like a chance to, to break or spill all over my bag or anything like that. I just feel like stick foundations are easier to travel with. And I really like this one. It's very comfortable to wear, but it gives me a nice even coverage. It's not quite as hydrating as some of the other foundations that I have in my collection, but it is by far like one of the easiest to just like swipe on and be done with it. So I brought this to New Orleans with me too when I filmed with Heather, Heather Austin. So that is my foundation. For concealer, I brought my Natasha Denona. This is in the shade N4. I love this concealer because again, it's creamy. It's going to hydrate my under eyes, but also give a little bit of coverage. And it's not too much to layer my Sigma Color Correcting Duo with my foundation with a concealer. It doesn't like build up and get too cakey. So love that. I also brought the e.l.f. powder that Betty Jean told me about, Betty Bean. I filmed a video where I asked like some of your, some of my favorite content creators, like their favorite makeup product. And Betty Jean put me on this e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. And part of the reason why I brought this, it's a great under eye setting powder, but part of the reason why I brought this, and you're probably not even, well, maybe you can tell, I don't know. I don't want to spill powder everywhere, but uh, it turns closed. So there is some powder in here from 
when I had been using it, but you can like turn the sifter on the inside. So it, right now it's closed. So more powder from the inside won't come out. I felt like this was the least messy of my powders. I mean, a loose powder is gonna be messy when you travel anyway, but like the least messy of my loose powders. I didn't bring like any cream bronzers or anything, but the bronzer that I can't get enough of is this Pat McGrath bronzer. This one is in the shade Nude Honey. So here it is right here. You can tell she is loved y'all. Like that embossing is just hanging on for dear life. But I love this bronzer. It's just like a nice neutral bronzer. If you have, I have a light neutral skin tone. And so sometimes bronzers can be tricky because if they're too cool toned, they look muddy on me. But if they're too warm, I feel like with my hair, it just, it doesn't match. Like it doesn't mesh. Not a good situation. So this is a great neutral bronzer that does give my face some definition, but it also does warm up the complexion. So had to bring that. And then, and then you got to see me use for the first time the new Revy Beauty Blush. This is the Endless Diffusion Everyday Baked Blush. And I got the shade Paradise. And so when I watched Allie's video, Allie Glein's video about this blush, she was saying that it's like two colors mixed in one. This is like my kind of perfect mauve -y type of shade. Like when you blend it together, it is like a pinky purpley mauve. I feel like it goes good with a variety of looks. You can pair it with a warm toned eye like I did when Molly and I went to the orchard or you can pair it with a more cool toned look. I like the marbling effect. The other thing that I like about this is that it gives you a nice sheen on your face. So it gives you kind of like a healthy glow without like there's no, there's no specks of glitter. There's no shimmers in here. With like the Laura Geller ones, I feel like those kind of have shimmers and like specks of glitter and this does not y'all like there is no like no chunks in here no specks of glitter but it still gives you like a nice healthy sheen I did also pick up the brush that Allie came out with the blush brush and so you get to see me use that in action in the get ready with me but these were a great combination I really enjoyed this the first time that I wore it I thought that it was a great blush for highlighter, I don't feel like I necessarily needed a highlighter. Like I had a nice healthy glow going on, but I love a highlighter. I'm still in my highlighter era. This is the Sigma highlighter in the shade Twilight. And y'all, I am mentioning several Sigma products. I'm also an affiliate with them. So like, if you wanna try any of these, you can use the code KBella and it's gonna save you money. Um, but I like genuinely love, like I genuinely love this, okay? I genuinely love this. This is more of like a rose gold, but like, cool toned, like a cool toned, not super rosy, cool, like rose gold champagne had a baby and it was a little bit more cool toned. That's this highlighter. It's very unique in my collection. I love it. I think it looks great with my skin tone. Definitely very blinding, very blingy, very in your face. Had to bring that for eyes. For eyes, I did bring the new Nomad Chicago Speak Easy Palette. Now, I lost the box somewhere in Molly's house. The outer packaging, the box is amazing. I would have kept it. I would have kept that in here. Um, but I lost the box somewhere along the way and that's totally fine because this is where the magic happens. Right here, you have a top row of mats, you have a bottom row of mats, and then these are multi-chromes right here in the middle. Five multi-chromes. So shifty, so dimensional. I saw this color story and I immediately had to message them on Instagram and I was like, I think this may be my favorite color story. I'm a shimmer gal, so I don't typically prefer something that's so matte heavy, uh, but I love this palette. I love this color story. So my plan, Molly and I both used this when we got ready for the apple orchard, but my plan when I get home to Michigan is I wanna create looks, but like I love these trios here. Like this is a trio. This is a trio. This is a trio, a trio, a trio. So my plan when I get home is to film a look. Well, I guess to create five looks, but using the trios. So you can see what the trios look like together. But let me tell you a little bit about this palette. It says enter and relax at these cozy Chicago spots as the windy city cools down for fall. We hope you enjoy crafting a perfect cocktail of colors for your bespoke speakeasy look. Thank you for all of your love and support. Okay, so this is the new Chicago Speakeasy Color and Chrome Palette. Um, so this is like set during Prohibition. It says via a network of riverways and tunnels crisscrossing the city, the hot commodity was smuggled to concealed bars buzzing with jazz playing, flappers dancing, and drinks flowing. 
100 years later, Chicago speakeasies are still tops with original joints that take you back in time and new places with reinvented classics. So pull up Capone's old seat at the Green Mill, grab a Chicago Fizz and keep the good times going. Absolutely love this. Also, the cool thing about Nomad is they're always supporting a cause. So part of the money that they make from this palette um, is going to support the Friends of the Chicago River organization that works to protect and restore the Chicago River for people and wildlife. Love it. Beautiful. Stunning. I want to do a ranking of all of my Nomad palettes, and I feel like this will come in pretty high. I had some mascara. I had some mascaras. I brought three. Okay. So first I have the Rare Beauty. This one is uh, in the shade black. It's it's like a volumizing mascara, right? And then I have the Benefit Roller Lash because what I like to do is when I want like va va boom volume, I don't wear falsies. I like to go in with a volumizing mascara and then a lengthening mascara. So that's a winning combination there. But on days when I'm not wearing eyeshadow like I didn't actually wear eyeshadow to the wedding because I just didn't have time like I was running around with my sister I like this tower 28 I want to buy a full size of this the tower 28 make waves mascara this is a good one it doesn't give me like a falsy effect but it's a good one to volumize and illuminate my lashes when I'm not wearing eyeshadow so brought that I also do have this ultra beauty matte eyeshadow primer love that for the eyes one thing I will say though this primer is great but I would recommend with these shimmers, if you want, I didn't just smudge that. Okay, good. No, I don't think I did. If you want like the best, um, what am I trying to say? The wear, like you don't want your shadows to crease and wear. I don't think this primer is strong enough. I think you should go in with something like the NYX Glitter Glue. And I feel like that will really keep your shadow in place. It'll keep the, the shadows are already vibrant enough. Like they don't need extra oomph and, and vibrancy and power. But if you want the longevity, that's what I'm looking for. If you want the longevity, I would recommend going in with a glitter glue. Uh, I did get this from Molly. I did not bring a setting spray because I don't have a travel size of my Mac, which is what I would prefer to use. But she gave me this Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Dewy Glow and Fixing Spray. Um, it kind of had a weird smell, so I don't know if I love it yet, but that's what I was using. And then tucked away, I had a couple liners that I never wore, just like a black liner and a nude liner. This one is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Perversion and the Makeup Forever Boundless Bisque. And then for lip products, I did bring, but I didn't wear my Lunar Beauty Milk Tea. I also brought my Lunar Beauty Icon Lipstick. Um, I didn't wear those. At the wedding, I wore the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Raisin paired with this red from Give Beauty. It's the original recipe red. So it's a matte lipstick. Got lots of compliments on that. But when we were out and about like at the cider mills and stuff, I just went with this one, y'all. This is the Fantasy Cosmetica Makeup Just for Fun Tinted Lip Balm. I believe this one is in the shade Cozy. I also did bring my eyelash curler and all of that fit in here. Every single thing that I just showed you fit in here. It did. And so four brushes before I pack that back up, I have my brushes in here. The brushes that I brought, of course, this one that goes with the Ruby Beauty blush. But for bronzer, I brought my BK Beauty 103. I do also have a code with BK Beauty. I'm affiliated with them. KBella10 will save you money on their site. Um, I have a few BK Beauty brushes. So this is one of them. I also brought some of their eye brushes. So like I have the BK Beauty 202. I have uh, this one I use in my crease, the BK Beauty 204. I use for the lower lash line. For like the outer corner, I use my BK 207. I also have like a smaller detailed blending brush. This is the BK 211. Are those all my BK Beauty? I think so. I did bring some Singe Beauty. I brought my Singe EO3. I was using this one for the crease. For the lid, I brought my Singe Beauty EO1. I also brought my Singe Beauty EO2. This one is um, smaller than the, the EO3 that I showed you. So like the EO3 is larger and fluffier and the EO2 is smaller. So still for the crease, still for the crease, but like a little bit smaller. Those were Singe Beauty. And then where can I put these? Like, I don't want to put all this stuff 
on the dirty ground, I'll put it in the other bag. From Sigma, I did bring my Sigma Large Angled Contour Blush Brush, but I didn't actually end up using this one because I was using the Revie Beauty. I did bring my Tapered Highlighter F35 for a highlighter on the face. I did bring my E33 Detailed Diffused Crease because I like that for the lower lash line. And then I brought my pencil brush. This was the Little Mermaid pencil brush again for the lower lash line. And I didn't use this one. I used this one. I don't think, I think this is, it's rubbed off. I think this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills flat brush. Actually, I used to carve out my brows. Oh, I'm missing brows. Hold on. I used that to carve out my brows, but I didn't use that one. And then this is an old Real Techniques that I use if I'm like setting my eyeshadow primer. So that was everything in the brush bag. I'm like, oh my gosh, brows. I forgot brows. So for my brows, I also probably need to be checking out soon. Okay, there's a little middle zipper compartment here. I was like, I didn't show you any brow products. My brow products are in that middle zipper compartment so that they don't get lost. So I brought my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Is and Brow Definer in Caramel. I brought my Give Me Brow, um, I think I'm in the shade three. And then uh, my Patrick Ta Lamination Gel. But I like to keep those right here in the middle because then they don't get lost. But I need to go, I need to check out. My sister's on her way. I need to pack all of this makeup in my bag, but I thought it would be fun to show you what I packed. So that is going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go so I can see you in the next one. Bye.